find the slope of the line through these points. So we need some graph paper. And where is the point negative 1, 3? We'll start at the origin. We'll go 1 to the left and go up 1, 2. Put your point right here. All right, this is this point. Now, if I start at the origin, go 9 to the left and then down 3. There's the origin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to the left and then 1, 2, there's my next point right there. Then we can draw a line through these two points. And we want the slope of the line through these two points. All right? So we're going to use my y2 minus my y1, my x2 minus my x1. Put the negative 3 here. Underneath that point, underneath that number, we write what? The number that corresponds with negative 3 is a negative 9. So neg negative 9 goes here. Then this is your value for y. And the value that corresponds with that is the negative 1, which goes right underneath the 3. So negative 3 and negative 3 makes negative 6. And this is negative 9 minus a negative 1. So that's negative 9 plus 1. Okay, so if you owe $9 and you pay back $1, you still owe $8. Now the two negatives are going to cancel when I reduce this, and you're going to end up dividing both of these by 2. You'll get 3 on the top and 4 on the bottom. Okay, 3 fourths. Now uh, you looked at, you had 6 over 8, didn't you? So as you go from this point here, to this point, if I draw a rectangle through those two points, this is 6 high here and 8 this way. Okay? So you see where the 6 and the 8 are coming from. Okay? It's a positive slope. It's a positive 3 fourths because I'm going upward to the right. As I go upward, I point to the with the right hand going upward. Hence, this is a plus slope. Okay? Now, what's this 3 fourths? Well, Let's go from this point up three, one, two, three, and go right how much? One, two, three, four. That's why we're saying three fourths. Okay? And if you reduce six over eight, you get three over four. It's plus because I'm going upward to the right, a positive three fourths.